Let's get started. Question number one, what is the difference between a grant and financial assistance? We'll define the two as a difference in the purpose of the funds. A grant is a formal proposal to receive a financial award from grant funders who want to see specific growth in a specific community over a specific period of time. The growth could be in economic development, strengthening the arts, access to education, etc. Financial assistance, on the other hand, is generally given to individuals who have immediate and severe needs. This assistance could be short-term or last for many years. And while a person's ability to thrive does help the community in general, financial assistance dollars aren't targeted in that direction as much as they are in a grant. Question number two. Who gives grants to individuals? Government agencies at the national, state, and local levels. Grants awarded by government agencies are meant to further that agency's goals. Your proposal for individual support must first and foremost further that goal. For example, are you an artist who will stay in the city that gives you a grant so that your work helps to build up the city's arts community? Number two, Corporations have support opportunities for individuals with two common limitations. A, these opportunities are most often limited to where the corporation has a large community presence, such as a call center, headquarters, distribution center, stores, factories, etc. And B, these opportunities can be limited to the company's employees and their families, but that is not always the case. And then there is the third option, private foundations which have the fewest opportunities for grants that are awarded directly to individuals. Overwhelmingly, they award grants to nonprofit organizations that in turn provide direct services to individuals. However, there are limited opportunities for individuals to receive private foundation grant dollars, which we'll see in the next section of this video. Question number three, what will these grants pay for? The three grant funder types we just named, government, corporations, and private foundations tend to have three primary support categories for individuals. One, economic development, including small business. Two, housing, or three, education. I'll also list financial assistance options from these grant funder types to help clarify the difference between the two. Grants for economic development. Government agencies at all levels offer very specific grant opportunities for individuals, often for small businesses owned by women and or minority populations and or by veterans, as well as artists, or for research in specific areas prioritized by the administration in place at that time. Links in the description below. Corporations are major players in local economic development simply by virtue of employing individuals in the region. Of course, employment is not a grant, but perhaps there are fellowships with the company that could turn into full-time employment. Private foundations primarily maintain their preference to award grants to nonprofits that support local economic development, such as job training, certifications, etc. Grants for housing follow the same rules as in real estate, location, location, location. Government agencies often have grants available to support low-income families in their goal toward home ownership or home repairs, almost all in low-income communities. Corporations rarely provide housing grants and then only under specific conditions. For example, at the time I post this video, Home Depot offers a grant to retrofit a home for disabled veterans, linked in the description below. Private foundations, as mentioned before, private foundations prefer to support nonprofit organizations that in turn serve the housing needs of very specific populations, such as seniors, low-income families, and or rural families. Or they can support the costs of housing, such as the RISE initiative of the Gary Sinise Foundation, which serves military veterans and first responders, linked below. Grants for education. Government grants for education are generally made up of scholarships or fellowships for students to earn a degree in career fields that the government agency wants to build up. Linked below is an article specific to finding scholarships. And of course, colleges and universities will provide lots of information. 
The corporate version of Grants for Education is to support young people entering the corporation's scope of service or products, such as an electric utility encouraging the next generation of engineers and line workers. This might be a grant to a nonprofit, though, instead of individuals, so read their instructions carefully. Here is where private foundations have some grant opportunities for individuals. Quite often, your local community foundation has scholarship funds available for people in their specific communities to pursue higher education. Financial assistance. Here is where I'll add a little bit about financial assistance to help define the difference between it and grants. Government. You know these funds. Welfare, nutrition support, child care vouchers, Medicare, VA disability, etc. Corporations. Your employer may have an emergency fund for employees and their families in times of sudden need. Or, for the general public, utility companies often have programs to help low-income families with bills. Private foundations build reserves of funds that are only used when disaster strikes to provide such things as blankets, clothing, food, or shelter. And finally, question number four, how do I find the right grant opportunity for me? This question is answered in two parts. One, how to find grant opportunities, and two, how to assess whether the grant is worth your time to pursue. The first part, finding grant opportunities, usually requires a little bit of online research. First, pick a search engine. I happen to be using Google in this example, but others will work just as well. Number two, pick the correct search terms. Grant for individuals and then a couple of words to narrow that down to your specific situation. For example, grants for individuals plus artist plus Scotland. Here's a nice result, which I've linked below. Let's scroll down and see what the requirements are. The initiative is a priority of the Creative Scotland Initiative. A wide range of artists can apply if they live in Scotland. Very nice instructional video and additional guidelines. They really want you to have a strong proposal. Wow, no deadlines? I wonder how often they award grants. It's in the instructions somewhere. And here they emphasize, please read the instructions, AKA guidance. A proposal that doesn't meet the requirements is an unfunded proposal. Let me give you my super pro tip on how to select the right grants to apply for. Invest a few minutes of your time to ask yourself these three questions. One, does my specific circumstance fit the grant funder's purpose, otherwise known as mission? For example, if you are a black woman starting a business, there are grant funders that support women going into business, as well as those specifically seeking black women to build a business. I put links in the description below to two articles that list opportunities for both circumstances. Number two, am I in a geographic location that the grant funder supports? They don't have the resources to cover the globe, so their grants are focused in select areas. For example, you are an artist in Cincinnati, Ohio, and you found a grant for artists, but only artists in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That makes it a no-go. But don't worry, there are grants for artists in Cincinnati, and I've posted a link in the description below. Philadelphia, too. Here's the third question to ask yourself. When is the grant proposal due? Meeting the grant deadline is crucial. The vast majority of grants operate on an inflexible schedule. That's because the grant funder has specific dates to post grant opportunities, to receive and review proposals, and to award grant dollars. Then they start the process all over again for the next round. The example from Scotland that we saw earlier in this video had no deadlines, but you still need to read the instructions to see how often the grant dollars are awarded. Does that timing fit your needs? Well, we've covered a lot of ground in a very short time. We've learned the difference between a grant and financial assistance. We've seen where these grants come from. We've covered what these grants will pay for. And we saw how to find the right grant opportunity for your needs in your location. 